Hi, I'm Dorin Puslaru from Cloud-Based Solutions. In this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to migrate a virtual machine from VMware to Azure Stack using Coriolis. Coriolis itself is an all-in-one appliance running on Azure Stack. It provides a graphical user interface, a common line interface, and a complete REST API for integration with third parties. In order for Coriolis to create a replica, connections to source and destination clouds, called cloud endpoints, are necessary. This is just a matter of filling up a form in the interface. Coriolis is then performing an automated validation of that endpoint, checking the network connection and the logging credentials. A replica is a copy of one or more virtual machines from the source to the target, executed incrementally and providing the foundation for both migration and disaster recovery as a service features in Coriolis. The graphical interface has an easy and intuitive wizard for creating the replica. Here we are choosing the source and destination endpoint which we created beforehand. Coriolis is then discovering all the instances on the source endpoint. We are choosing an Ubuntu 18.04 VM for this demo, but Coriolis also supports Windows, Windows Server, Red Hat, CentOS, SUSE, Debian and other Linux distros. Now we have to tell Coriolis some of the destination options such as resource group, location and storage account. Finally we have to select a destination network. This list contains just the networks slash subnets from the resource group which we had selected previously. Coriolis replicas can be also scheduled to run automatically at specific intervals. Now before we perform this replica, let's add a log file with the current timestamp in the source VM. Ok, now we can start the replica. While the replica is executing, let's discuss a little bit more about the process. A migration replica is a complete copy of one or more virtual machines on a separate cloud environment. The replica is obtained by copying incrementally the virtual machine's data from the source environment to the target, without interfering with any running workload. This process is completely agentless, the user's workload is a black box. This means that Coriolis doesn't require any guest access or credentials to the VMs. The first time a replica runs, like we are doing it here, the whole disk is transferred to the target environment. In the subsequent replications, only the difference between the source and the target is copied. Replicating the data of this VM is just part of the process. Getting the machine to actually run requires some more actions, particular to the underlying target hypervisor and cloud. In this case we have to remove the VMware tools and install WA Linux agent. This process is fully automated and transparent for the users. Afterwards, Coriolis removes the temporary resources and starts the instance. Now let's check if we find that timestamp file which we created before in the source virtual machine. The file is here as expected, the VM has been successfully migrated. Thanks a lot for watching this video and happy migrations!